far side movie reviews how do far siders all right you guys today we are going to talk about three percent which is an original series on netflix now i've said it before i hope you guys are paying attention because there are tons of different things coming out that are original series streaming content on the different platforms netflix hulu uh, amazon prime all of those good things so guys pay attention because there's some really good stuff coming out there and if you're not a movie goer like myself you should be a movie goer but if you're not a moviegoer like myself, there is plenty of stuff that you guys can check out from home when you're snuggled up on that couch with your honey looking for something to do on the weekend. A lot of good stuff in the 3% is one of those things that I think that you guys should check out. So we're going to talk about the 3% today. I'm going to tell you why I like it. There's one reason that I really love this work. And hopefully you guys, if you're at home on a Saturday and you're thinking, baby, what we going to do? Then you know some of your options on Netflix to check out. So... Here's the synopsis of the 3%. No spoilers, of course. The 3% uh, follows a society that's in a dystopian society. At least 97% of the people are in a dystopian society. And every year, 3% of that dystopian population has a chance by competing to join a utopian population. And thus, they call it the 3%. Now, you say to yourself, hmm, wait a minute, Al. Wait, wait, no, wait a minute. I got it. I can. Oh, I, I, I know that narrative. Um, mm, mm. It's the Hunger Games. Yes, it is a lot like the Hunger Games. But listen, I don't want you to dismiss this thinking that it's just a rip off of the movie, because actually this is a really good show. The show is well acted. It's pretty well directed and it's pretty well written. So what I like about the three percent is that it does showcase people trying to become part of the 3%. But within that dynamic, you see their different reasons why, you see their backstory, you see all of the different things going on kind of behind the surface as to, as to why some of the people who are competing for the 3% are there. Everybody is not necessarily trying to get to the utopia. So there's a lot of different motives going on in the 3%. And what I will say that the show has going for it is that it really does pull you in with examining the stories and the reasons behind why the people want to get to the 3%. And just the whole ideology about the concept of having 3% of the population kind of living in this utopia and how the different people navigate that ideology, the different reasons that they want to go, some for themselves, some not for themselves, and how everybody within this narrative kind of has their own story. And you're not quite really sure who is doing what for what reason. And that's what makes this show really interesting. And they also have added a layer of complexity to the characters where you think you have something figured out, but you don't really know about the motives or the reasons behind a certain character. And what's interesting is how they develop some of these characters because they make you love them yet hate them. There are some characters in this movie where you're like, oh man, that's an all right dude. Like, yeah. And then he does something. You're like, oh, what a jerk. But then you see him in another frame and you're like, oh, man, that's an all right dude. And like you just don't know how to feel. And they do such a good job of setting that up within this narrative that you really find yourself sucked in at times rooting for characters, at times wanting to see them get it. And they do a good job of kind of keeping you off balance, not really knowing what position people are holding within. This makes it really interesting. Now, you might think to yourself, hold on, Al. That just sounds irritating and frustrating. Well, you would think so, but it doesn't. One of the things that the 3% has, I think, even over the Hunger Games is that it takes its time and it's able to really give you deep character development. And I say over the Hunger Games because you really can't get that, uh, but too much over the series of a couple of different movies. But when you have a series you can really dig into characters. And that's what this story does. It really does dig into the characters and it really does make you care and wonder about what's going on. And that adds to the overall kind of suspense or thrill of watching the 3%. It is a very enjoyable narrative to watch. The story is great. The visuals are actually pretty good as well. There are some times with the visuals that things are either not shot very well or the editing is cut kind of choppy. And honestly, unless you're just like a film head like myself or something like that, I don't think you care much about it, really. I think that you will get caught up in the story and you would just really enjoy what's going on here. You know, there's one part of this story, I'm just going to say this because I don't want to give anything away, where it's really interesting where you see a kid that has a chance to join the 3% and it kind of show you the backstory of his pedigree and the family members that have gone before him that have actually joined the 
three percent. But then you see something happen during this pursuit of kind of trying to get to the utopia, and it really does have you think, oh shoot. You see it and you're just like, wow, for real? And it totally takes you off guard. And that's one of the ways that this story is nicely written because you see stuff like that all the time. It does kind of keep you nicely off balance, as I said before, yet you still really enjoy the performances. And not off balance in the sense of loss, like where you're just like, what the heck is going on here, man? Because I have no idea. I am lost. J.J. Abrams, what's going on in this series? It's not like that at all. It's not like that, Farsiders. It does keep you on your toes, but you do appreciate it. You track well with what's going on, and it just keeps you interested. So, guys, if you are looking for something to watch, then please make sure that you check out the 3%. You know what? Actually, I'm sorry. I was about to just I was about to wrap it up, but I need to give you guys um, who stars in this, and then I'm going to talk about something. I can't believe I almost forgot to talk about that because it's one of the reasons why I really love this show. So I want to talk about who stars in this because I don't know any of these people. Um, who? I guess that's... Joao, somebody, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to spell it, first name J-O-A-O, -O, last name Miguel, um, also Bianca Camparato, and it looks like Michael Gomes, and those are the stars of the show, and it was created by Pedro Aguilera, so Here's what I also like about the 3%. Can't believe I almost forgot this because I think it's so important. What's cool about the 3% is that this is a, an original show for Netflix, but it is a Brazilian show, almost completely Brazilian cast, if not completely Brazilian cast. And a production, I believe, is predominantly Brazilian as well, which is really cool. Like One of the things that I'm excited about now is that we're just really kind of getting more uh, diversity and we're really kind of seeing more efforts from uh, international filmmakers and that includes actors, directors, cinematographers, all that. Like, I think that's really cool to see and I'm excited about that. And for me, as I said, this is really cool because The 3% to me is one of the best shows I have seen on Netflix and that includes even those that are American-made shows. But I like the fact that we're getting a broader scope in cinema, cinema, um, which is nice. I, I like, I'm, I'm excited about that. So go Brazil. And the actors and the performers, and the performance, and the performancers, <laughs> and the performers in this actually are really good. I think the three percent something is something you guys will really, really enjoy. I encourage you to check it out. If you're looking for something on Netflix to watch, then check out the three percent. I do not think that you will be sorry. Thank you so much, you guys, as always, for taking the time out to watch anything that I produce, and even things like this today, which was a hot mess, but hopefully it was helpful. Guys, if you like what you hear, please subscribe. You are going to see a button pop up with, oh, you know what? No, that button is not there anymore. I think you got a button with me doing like this in like a blue background. You can click that and that will let you subscribe. Guys, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you've seen the 3% and you want to give some commentary about it, what you thought about it, please do that in the comment box below. Also, guys, I am doing a Q&A. We have hit 400 subscribers. We're actually over 400 now. So it's our first official Farsight Movie Reviews Q&A. Please click the pop-up button. The box is going to pop up there and leave me a question. Ask me anything you want to ask me. Guys, thank you so much. And with that, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.